Mm. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Manny and thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to talk about something different. Um, over the past like few weeks, I've been thinking, okay, so it's been a couple of months now that I have started my YouTube channel. I've gone through various videos, the usual topics, the clickbaits, you know, my failed business, the what lens I use, what's in my pouch, blah, 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 blah. But then I'm down the month, three months now, four months now or something like that. And I'm thinking, okay, so what's, what's the next step? probably for me or what can I change or how can I make this look different what can I change for myself so anyway so I did a bit of research on my own videos I came across okay what can I change in terms of the layout um, things that I use on my daily basis how can I change this for myself so I came across a few things and I thought you know what let's review on what I can change or let's change what I'm doing right now already or let's have a go at what I didn't know before that I know now how can I change what I'm doing now I'm gonna give you four points that I hope that I knew before when I started YouTube to when I know now okay so we're gonna go through four tips that I think that are sort of like not relevant to me when it comes to YouTube YouTube is a humongous market it is millions and millions of people out there there's so many channels to do with anything and everything out there on youtube you can search absolutely everything on youtube i mean like you know say for example the the sky remote ain't working it's not catching that signal what do you do not many people ring up the customer service these days and ask for um customer customer service basically you know and uh, and say okay so and so is not working you go on youtube and you find out and you try and do it yourself um that's what people use youtube these days to do i use youtube certainly to do a bit of research as well if i'm not familiar with something i would go and search on youtube i'm sure you do as well um so it's just a basic turnover from that where i started from three four months ago and if I knew these things um, how would I change it now so anyway let's crack on with it okay first and foremost I would go for you is tip number one which I would tell you is that do not be obsessed with the numbers okay for me the numbers do not matter I specifically do this because this is something that I like to do I did not start YouTube thinking you know what Oh, I'm gonna make this big. I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna have calls coming in. I'm gonna have events coming in. People are gonna be obsessed with my, you know, whatever I do and stuff like that. I'm gonna have collabs and this and that. No, I started YouTube because it's something that I like to do. I like videography. I like photography. And it's just one more thing that I want to tick off my list that, okay, I do YouTube, right? That's the reason why I do YouTube. I don't do it because. I want to show it off to other people i don't want to do it because i want to earn money from it yeah okay there's things happening behind the scenes that you can do people make their everyday living from youtube and it's nothing wrong with that but it's not something that i started my youtube channel for i'm not obsessed with the numbers i would post my video and then i wouldn't probably go look at it on a hourly basis or you know half a day basis i would probably go back and check the stats maybe after like a week or so maybe a monthly review you can just go into your uh, youtube board uh, dashboard and just check you know your overall stats and see okay what can i change for my next video because that will bring you from one video to the next to the next it, if you think about that okay the numbers matter to me for example instagram take for example instagram your insta page and you post a picture or you post an instagram story be honest with yourself how many times after posting that picture do you go back and check how many likes have you got or you already have known in your mind that after posting this specific picture i'm gonna get like 100 likes or people are gonna view it like crazy like this is something that will go viral and stuff like that you know everyone thinks of that okay fair enough you know some people do think like that nothing wrong with that but that's not what i feel 
I don't take the stress of the numbers matter to me. Period. Okay, bam, point number two. Do it for the right reason. More specifically, do it for yourself. The people out there that make YouTube, most of them, probably the people that I know, including myself, I didn't start the YouTube channel to, to say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get brands coming in. I'm gonna make big things out of this. No, do it for yourself. Do what makes you happy. People out there, they don't specifically think, okay, you know what? YouTube means money. It's gonna make you money. You can forget about your day job and stuff like that. That's not point number one. You know, the point is to make something that makes you happy. Go out there, create content, put it out there for people to like, people to subscribe to your channel, people to give you the thumbs up, by the way, Give me a thumbs up if you like this video so far. Subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, back to the point now. So people out there, they create the content, whether that is flying the drone, whether that is capturing landscape, whether that is uh, capturing portraits and stuff like that, night photography, which I'm a great fan of. Do what you like to do. Whether that is, I, I've seen videos of uh, a friend of mine who is a great, great, great makeup artist. She's done makeup on my wife for different, different events like weddings and birthday parties and stuff like that. And she actually makes money from putting makeup on other females. And she is a great person. And she actually makes money from advertising on her YouTube channel and her Instagram that look, I can, do makeup this is this is my hobby this is my profession and this is what i like to do and there's no wrong in that there's nothing wrong to do in that it's what you like to do it's what you're using these platforms across the board you know twitter youtube instagram whatever they are out there Flickr art whatever they are do what you like to do do it for yourself and that's what i do i do it for myself like my point number one, I would highly stress, do not worry about the numbers. If you keep thinking about the numbers and you keep going back to it and thinking, oh, you know what? I'm not getting those likes. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not getting those views. Then that's going to put you off. And that, that, that is a major drawback that these things put you off if you're not getting the likes. If you're not out there for the numbers, put in the grass and do your best. And I'm sure you will reach that level one time that you know, you think, okay, when you look back down and you think, oh, damn it, did I actually used to do this? Oh my God, look, I've, I've, I've evolved from day one to day 595 down the way, you know, like that's a year and a half down the road, you see? So when you look down a year and a half down to your first day that you started maybe YouTube or Instagram, you put up that video first time and you think, wow, did I actually do that? How did I have the confidence to actually start that? first first ever step so anyway do it for the right reason for yourself bam okay point number three now this is an important one you gotta start somewhere okay everyone starts a youtube channel not thinking okay i'm gonna get a boom mic i'm gonna i need a uh you know a thousand pound two thousand pound uh, camera I'm gonna have to fit lens on it which are worth like two thousand three thousand pounds I'm gonna have to get a tripod I'm gonna get lights in I'm gonna get this done in I'm gonna get that done in look just most of the people that start YouTube started from the bedroom started from their office started from their couch or something like that you know pick a little corner in your house set it up all you basically need is something to record yourself honestly right you can record yourself from anywhere vlogging is a different matter you can vlogging is a different thing but if you're if you're giving tutorials if you're starting from your bedroom or something like that you basically just need something to record yourself of even if that is your phone to be honest with you people are not gonna you know have a look back at it you can't see what i'm recording on right now fair and fact right so i could be using anything right now just to record this video so you don't need anything fancy like you know lights and board and boom mic and sound panels and stuff like that yes that can come down the line okay you, if you make the money from youtube if you make money if your clients get in touch with you for photography whatever videography and the money comes in yes invest in what you're doing so move the step up but really and truly you've got to start somewhere and that's what most people do that's where i started i started from a desk 
in my office, my workplace. I'm still at my workplace and I'm at a different workplace right now. I have another place where I work as well. So this is our branch number two. But anyway, that's that's a topic for another, another day. But that's where I started. It was a desk set up in a corner. If you remember my very first, first, first videos that I used to put out, it was a desk in a little corner. My gear used to be stacked up against this wall. And I just used to give tutorials and I just used to you know give out videos from that corner of the room and that was it and that's where I worked from and then you've got to start somewhere to then progress on if you if you think that okay you're progressing and you've made changes that will grow your own confidence in yourself to say okay you know what I can move the camera now for example half a meter away from me an arm's length and I can talk on it rather than having it so close by because everything is just close by and you're just you know you just don't have the confidence to say okay you know what you know I, I just need the camera in my face to pretend that um, I'm, I'm not vlogging or I'm not making a video whereas if you have the camera out there at an arm's length which I have right now you're not afraid you have that confidence to now say okay you know what I'm a vlogger I, I, I know what I'm doing I know the settings on my camera I can do this I can do that and you can adapt to different different places and the different scenarios that you get so fair in fact straight up you've got to start somewhere okay it's not a bad time to start YouTube anytime I would say go for it if you're into YouTube if you want to make a good video out there and you think that you have the skills really if you don't even have the skills just just go for it i think youtube is a great platform for you to tick something else off your list to say you know what i put videos out there on youtube because that grows your confident to say you i make videos of myself it's quite a difficult thing to say okay you know what i'm gonna speak to a camera it's a bit funny you know it's a bit weird because you hear your own voice when you look back at your own videos you might think oh my god is that how is that how i talk oh my god look at my face how it's frowning oh look how my cheeks look look how my eyes look but you know what it's just another thing that ticks off the list yes putting the effort of making things happen of making things different to your previous videos upgrade your your lighting perhaps upgrade your mic upgrade your audio upgrade your lens and stuff like that but that can all happen in due course you don't need spectacular things just to start a youtube channel to be honest with you you just need something that can record you so there you are bam that's point number three you've got to start somewhere now next point thumbnails and titles this is is a major factor i'm going to tell you because i i struggle a lot with thumbnails like on my on my videos i might take like an entire day just thinking oh my god what do i put as the thumbnail because the thumbnail and the title must work together they, they gotta be like you know clockwork to elaborate with each other now if they don't you know give a meaning to your video then it's not going to be like a clickbait okay that is wrong people do put up videos on youtube and title it to be clickbait for example mine i'll be honest with you i put up the video my third business and and i did think of it as a clickbait because people will want to know what did i fail in yes there's people out there that that want to see me fail okay they, 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 it's just a fact of life okay but anyway period uh, out of the window um titles and thumbnails they must collaborate and work as clockwork and you must sp specifically 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 must pick the right thumbnail for your videos because these this is what thumbnails are what attracts people to click on your on your videos i i like I said, I might just take about a day just looking through what can I put as my thumbnail? You know, the, the video might take me like a couple of hours to make, editing half a day, maybe a day. Just the thumbnail takes me a day to figure out what do I put as my thumbnail on my on my video. And, and this actually really and truly frustrates me <laughs> to actually know that, you know, the, this actually is the reason why people could click on your on your on your video so it's you know they must collaborate your thumbnail 
and your title for your video, it's, it is quite an important thing I have learned in the past three, four months that I've started YouTube, that this thing is important. So I'd really, really encourage you to actually think and think again and think again on what you put as your title and your thumbnail. Okay, let's make this the last one. This is the shout outs and the collabs. Okay, so this is a bit of a bonus. I, I didn't intend to do this one, but let's just put it out there now that we've started. I don't go for shout outs. I, uh, I made, uh, to be honest with you, one mistake, which I started in my early days and I went for a collab. I went to, for a collab with someone and it didn't work out. Okay, I'll be honest with you, it didn't work out. It got to uh, sort of the, it got a kickstart, but it didn't happen, you see. And that was my mistake. It was my mistake because, because I approached. I approached and, and it was the wrong reasons. The approach was wrong. Um, it's not something that I do. So I've, I've totally stopped doing that. I've stopped reaching out. I've stopped the uh, shout outs. I've stopped asking people to give me shout outs. I give people shout out if I feel that I've received a very good service. Uh, often on my Instagram stories, I would highly recommend, you know, so, 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 or blah, 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 or something like that I've bought. And it's a good product or a lovely service. Yes, I would shout it out on my Instagram story or my uh, YouTube channel when I did my video for um, what's in my tech pouch. The stuff that I have in there are amazing. And the things that I buy to put in my tech pouch and my gear are amazing. So often I would give a shout out to the products that I buy from, to the companies of the products that I buy from. Um, but I wouldn't put myself out there to say, okay, you know what, do you wanna collab? Do you wanna do, you wanna do this together? Do you wanna do that together? No, I don't do that anymore. I did it once and I think the once was enough to learn from your mistake. Um, so I think if you put in the hard work, that will come. If you put in the hard work and you feel that, okay, you're putting in the hard work, the grasp, and you're doing it throughout the week in, week out, then other people that see your, uh, transition from, from day one to day 500. And if that has changed and they feel that, okay, this guy's putting in hard work, let me reach out to him and actually collab with him or or give him a shout out on my channel then definitely that could work out for you but i personally have stopped the shout outs shout out and the collabs definitely for now um there's nothing wrong in that if you do it yes but i would i would recommend that if you was to collab with someone this is a, a really good tip as well if you was to collab with someone i would say collab with someone on the same caliber so if the opposite person has the same amount of um subscribers or they are doing something similar to what you do this can you know th this that can work out for you if the same person is doing something similar to what you do yes that's that's a collaboration that can work but if you're doing something totally different across the market and you are asking someone okay let's collab together to to just grow or um hopefully or you know just anticipate the fans or something like that or just put it out there. it's not really gonna work so my my collab that i went out for my mistake that I went for this first collaboration. It didn't work out for me. It got a kickstart, but that was about it. We didn't produce a, put together a video or, or any story or anything together. And it was my mistake because I just felt that it was my very, very early days. So this was probably my first or second video that I put on YouTube. And it was soon after that, that I asked for this collaboration with uh, the specific person, but it didn't work out. and. I would take it on as that was my mistake because I shouldn't have gone for that collaboration. I should have taken it on myself to say, you know what, I don't need collaboration. I don't need to join forces with another person just to make a little bit more views on my channel or maybe get a subscriber or two more, or maybe someone adding a list to adding me on Instagram or something like that. Highly wrong of me. So I don't go for shout out and collab, but I would, say that okay for the right reasons if you're gonna go for a collab then do it with the right person maybe this person that is doing more or less the same thing as you do on youtube or instagram fair enough but anyway 
I think we've got through the four or the five tips. The last one was a bonus. I wasn't supposed to put that on, but I just thought I'd put it out there. So like I said before, anyway, hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and, and, fingers crossed, I hope to see you on the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.